This is another series that I've written. So far there's two books. There's Mindy a New Breed and Ram's Bottom Betty's Revenge. And when I did this, I just wanted to write something totally daft, totally bonkers that makes you smile. And the story I ended up with was about a young sheep, a ewe, and a relationship with her father. She loves her father, but one night, her father disappears. And Mindy decides, join the military, get into Swift, and that opportunity comes, and then she gets the chance of finding the person or persons that took her father from her. The next day, Mindy began an intensive training course. 20 recruits had started in the morning. By late afternoon, only three remained. They'd run miles, jumped over high farm gates, driven a tractor, snuck through the farmer's house without being heard or seen, trekked through the mud without leaving hoof prints and worked on a team building skills. A team needs to work as one. They'd adjusted to wearing the full standard kit of rope, stun gun, radio, beer tops, glue, hair dryer and night vision glasses. They'd also been sucking on the standard issue extra strong mints in case of capture. Having clean breath was essential. The standards were very high. The three remaining recruits, Mindy Jock, real name Arthur, and Swindler, real name Ashley, were now on a mission to guard the hen house and catch the light-footed fox. Jock was one of the Fabergé Buckingham sheep. His father was a banker for the British textile industry. He loved playing sport and being outdoors. Although he'd got high qualification, Jock hadn't wanted to follow in his father's hoof prints. He decided instead to join the military and enlist. As for Swindler, He'd not bothered with learning and grades because he was smarter than all the other lads. Swindler had no interest in English or maths, but he was interested in cards, always for money, and boxing, and he excelled at both. He'd even fought in a couple of Australian champion kangaroos and knocked them both out. I've covered some of the Swift War at Mindy, Jock and Swindler, and what they do and their adventures. But their adventures continue into the second book, but I'll let you find that out for yourself. I hope you enjoy that.